What's up everyone? Karu here from my Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great and welcome to the final video of our return series. Part one and two are already live on the channel so I highly recommend you watch uh, those two videos. I'll, I'll leave a link down below but in this video we're going to talk about how to return second serves more effectively. I will talk about technique, tactics and what you should be doing on second serves so you're more effective, win more points and end up breaking more serves. So as usual, we'll cut to the court, then we'll meet back here for my final thoughts, not only on second serve returns, but in re returns in general. I really wanna hammer uh, the nail down so you guys can uh, start enjoying returning a bit more. But before we go to the court, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe, it really helps us. Also give the video a thumbs up because uh, it does help us a lot with engagement. We also got a bunch of links down below to help the channel. If you're buying something from Tennis Warehouse, if you want to sign up for Swing Vision, buy spike ball sets. We got a bunch of stuff down there. I want to buy merch. Everything helps the channel, so we truly appreciate that. But let's go to the court, and then we'll meet back here for my final thoughts. All right, guys, we're back on court for video number three, and today we're going to talk about second serves. So second serves, people <laughs> get a little... They don't really know what to do sometimes in second serves. Do I, am I aggressive? Am I, should I just play it safe, play hard through the middle? And it kind of depends on you. Some people just, you know, they're gonna take their chances and that puts pressure on the, on the server if you're just, if they know you're going to just rip it, making it or missing it, adds a little bit of pressure, kind of John Isner style. But in general, playing the second serve, um, technically is a little bit different so I'm, let's talk about that first and then I'll talk a little bit about at least my thought process on the tactical part so on the technical uh, side of this a lot of it's like the first serve right we're going to have the wide stance okay starting here with a nice wide base okay I'm gonna split step high I'm gonna stay mobile and I'm, hopefully I'm gonna play more open stance especially if I'm going inside the court I'm gonna play more open stance if I'm back more backed up I can have a little bit more time and then play the close stance a little bit more. But the one thing that changes a little bit more on the second serve is that you have to stay really mobile, right? So on the first serve, I can hit a first serve to me. On the first serve, that serve, anywhere you want. The serve is gonna like come a little bit faster and you're just, you're just kind of reacting a little bit more, right? But then you see a second serve. If you get stuck with your feet too early, second serve, if I get stuck with my feet too early, I'm gonna have a, actually a hard time hitting it. I have to stay a little bit more mobile on the second serve, and that's the main difference between first and second to me. Second again, so as I do my split step here, I need to stay a little bit more mobile so I can really oh, get to the distance I need to get quick, quickly. Do like a really slow, like a slower one even. It's like one of those that sort of throws you off. So I'm here, maybe I'm expecting like a big serve and that thing comes a little bit slower and I go a little stuck too early. You see like, you don't wanna get stuck too early on the return of serve. You actually wanna stay nice and mobile. You need to go get it. On the second serve, especially if you're returning a kick serve, you need to go get it. Okay, so, oh, here, wow. Okay, so, uh, and with that, we staying mobile with, you know, getting the, the ball in front of me. I want to make sure, so let's watch here from the side. I want to make sure on the forehand, on the back, and my shoulders are going to really rotate through it, right? You don't want to block it too much. This is a second serve. You actually need to generate a little bit of pace. You don't need a bigger swing. You just want to make sure as you're coming forward here, you're really bah, getting that shoulder around. Same on the forehand, really, right? I'm going to turn, and I'm going to really get my shoulder around. Load, really get my shoulder around because I want to accelerate through it, making sure you started doing more with your body here. See, pa, 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 than anything else. But let's say you're not really comfortable returning maybe early, right? Then I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to back up. I'm going to make this easier. Second serve. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit easier. Okay, I'm going to actually let the ball drop a little bit more. So I can hit that ball. You see that one's more close stance because I was a bit further back. Now, remember on the previous video, I talked about the height of the ball, like really figuring out their height. Like he has a great kick. That kick gets, can get above my shoulder. My goal, your goal on the second serve, especially if it's off a kick return, is to be within this strike zone here, right? Like shoulder height, 
hopefully maybe a bit a bit lower if it starts getting above your shoulder here that's a problem so i either step in take it before it rises or i back up here do a couple of, actually to the forehand as well so i'm gonna i'm back here i'm nice and chill okay i'm gonna play with a bit more height as well because i'm further back that was a little bit too much height but again the height of the ball you see i'm gonna be prepared to be up here already i don't need to go down really ever do you see that like i don't really need to go down if he's serving a high ball why would my racket be down here no i'm gonna be up here already boom because i'm trying to make things slower so that's the cue go back in one again so i'm back here i'm gonna try to get it to the ball to drop a little bit and be in my strike zone so that one was open stance so making sure you either stepping in, taking a bit earlier, or you're a little backed up, let it drop a little bit, but still. Now let's just talk a little bit about the tactical part, right? It's a little bit different. Um, should you be offensive? Should be a little bit more neutral? Kind of depends on your on your own style, your own gut feeling. Like I, for me, it's like sometimes I'm gonna step in, I'm gonna rip it. Sometimes I just want to make the ball. Maybe I'll back up, play a little bit more high and heavy. Finding that that style that works better for you, it's very important. But what am I trying to do here on the second serve? I still don't necessarily want to be too offensive. I, I, this is me. Again, there's people who are just going to want to rip it and it's, that's totally fine. But I want to, my goal most of the time is to maybe find the weakness, their weakness. So let's say the, their back end is a little bit weaker. I'm going to try to find that. So let's say serve a couple seconds. I'm going to try to find his back in here. Okay, so this first one I'm going to step in compact boom find the back in there it's a huge target huge target i wasn't going for a winner i was just trying to find technically the weakness but let's say i, I wasn't able to do it stepping in like i just like every time i was stepping in i was kind of catching it a bit too late and it was going there so that's just not going to help me right so let's see if like from further back maybe i could do it again that's on both sides of the court i'm going to overlay some some other some other serves later on. A little bit further back here. Well, I'm gonna try to start the point, finding his back. It wasn't the best shot there. I don't know, you will do. Remember, in returning, sometimes it's just, just going in, it's a good thing. Boom, here, boom, heavy to the, to the weak, weaker side, but still with a huge target. Just remember, rip it. If you wanna rip it, rip it, a big target. Wanna play a little bit more high and heavy, great way to start the point. If I play high and heavy through the middle, also great spot through the middle, it's great because by the time I cover, I'm covering the court here, bah, high and heavy. That was very short. Let's do it again. A little bit heavier. Good serve though. I'll play a little bit more, make it get all the way to his feet there. No, I didn't, that, didn't do it again. Let's do one more. I gotta go for more, right? I gotta make an adjustment. Didn't go enough there. Oh, yeah. Now I went for a little bit more. Okay, so you gotta make adjustments, quick adjustments, quick adjustments when you're returning. But tactically, when you're returning, keep it simple. Big targets, go at it, let it go. Here on the second serve, like I said, make sure the shoulders are coming around, the hands are coming around so you get a little bit more, more spin on it. And remember, maybe you have if you want to just run around, hit some forehands, people do that too. Maybe you're not as comfortable with the back end return there. But find on the second serve return, like how can I quickly get to neutral here? On the first serve, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. You want to get to neutral, a little bit more tricky. On the second serve, that's when hope, hopefully on the first ball, you're already neutral. We're going to play, let's play a point here. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna try to go there. See, I'm pretty much in offense here, actually. He neutralized me. And boom. So in two balls, I was able to be in a neutral position. Okay, so again, let's go back to, to the apartment, do a little conclusion there, just talk a little bit more about certain things that I think you should be doing on the second serve. And I hopefully by the end of this series, you're gonna be returning much better. All right, we're back here and let's bring it home. Let's bring home this subject of returning. If you watch all the videos, which again, I highly recommend you do, um, there's a couple of themes that you know I wanna highlight that were in all videos. First is that returning, I mean, 
it's difficult. You're not supposed to win a lot of those points, but you shouldn't panic because you're not winning a lot of those points. It, it, it's a challenge to find ways of winning points on, on returns. It's not supposed to be happening all the time. So you have to sort of embrace that challenge. Don't be stubborn. Don't stick to a, a losing strategy on returns. If something is not working for two, three games when you return, you gotta make an adjustment. Um, you gotta play that cat and mouse game with the the server. Otherwise, you know, it makes it too easy. Think about what you want from a returner when you're a server. The things that like you'd like to see that was gonna make your life easier. Try not to be that guy. The second thing I talked a lot about was Simplicity, you know, the strokes need to be simple, you know, short back swings, obviously it's still accelerating. The technical part um, of it needs to be simple because things are gonna happen fast, no matter your level. Like what's fast to me might, you know, might be ultra fast for you and what's fast to you might be slow to me, but it's a feeling thing. If it feels fast, we need to keep it simple. So short back swings, compact, you know, really moving the feet, trying to get behind the ball, using the body to hit the returns is always an important thing. And finally, it's, you know, the targets. What do you do, the, tech, the tactical part of it? It's always, on returns, it's going for the big targets. On, when we're playing singles, big targets, even if you're taking a cut, if you're going a little bit bigger, you go for a lot because don't expect to be a guy who just, you know, I'm only a good returner if I'm hitting return winners. That's a silly thing. You know what I mean? No, no really good returners ever were the guys that were just hit, hitting return winners. They were the guys that were making a lot of returns. The, the Djokovic's, the Murray's, you know, Nalbanian back in the day. Guys that, you know, put a lot of returns in. Obviously, Agassi was a little bit more aggressive, but still, um, you know, made a lot of returns in. So, simplicity, big targets. Um, and obviously follow the steps, the technical steps that I, you know, I, I covered in all the videos here. But overall, you know, it's a mindset. It's a mindset of wanting to figure it out how to win more points. It's not even more games. At first, you've got to win more points. How do I get to 15? How do I get to 30? How do I get to 40 on the return games? And that's what's going to really make you a better returner. So hopefully if you watch the entire series, if that's a little bit more clear for you. Um, and you know, next time you're on the court, you're going to be more relaxed on the return games, more thinking about really more clearly about what you want to do on the court. And that was really the goal with the series. So if you are feeling like that and you know, the series helped, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, we got some fun content coming up with you know, top 100 player mic'd up as we're practicing. Uh, uh, I think a lot of people ask for that one. So it's coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. Uh, also, like I said before, links down below help us, so we truly appreciate that. Plus, subscribe to our newsletter. We're gonna have some fun things coming up with our newsletter, some downloadable PDFs, stuff like that. So um, make sure um, you use the link down below to sign up and Throw a comment. What ser what kind of series do you want next? I, I'm kind of enjoying doing this like three, four part series. So let me know in the comments below what do you want to see next. I'll I'll see um, if we got anything uh, fun, any good subjects, and I will see you guys on the next one.